Okay, so in this video, we want to simplify the following expression by rearranging it as a single fraction, so a single numerator and denominator, no fractions either on top and on the bottom, where in each case the top and bottom of our fraction is fully factored and simplified. So the first step will be to do just that on the numerator and denominator of this stacked fraction, and you can notice that in each case on the top and on the bottom, the two fractions do not share any common factor on the denominator, so we can go right ahead in both cases, cross multiply. So we'll have on top 2x times x plus 3. Minus x plus 1 times x plus 5. Over x plus 1 times x plus 3. So this is for the numerator, all over, and now we repeat for the denominator, 6 times x plus 1, plus x times x minus 1, and divided by x times x plus 1. So that's the first step. Second step will be, well, let's clean up the numerator in both fractions by multiplying things out and hopefully simplifying. And in both cases, for the fraction on top and on the bottom, we do not want to multiply the denominators as they are already fully factored and simplified. So what do we have here? Well, on top we have 2x squared plus 6x. minus, and again be careful here, the negative applies to the entire product, so we have to open up a pair of brackets, and we'll get x squared plus 5x plus x plus 6x plus 5. So x squared plus 6x plus 5 over, again x plus 1 times x plus 3, And here we'll do something else. Instead of just leaving this fraction divided by this fraction, we will simply recall that if you divide by a fraction, it is the same as multiplying the top, so multiplying this, which is this expression, by the inverse fraction. So dividing by this means we can multiply instead our numerator by the inverse fraction, which will be x times x plus 1. divided by, well, this, and now we will expand this again in hope of regrouping similar terms. So we'll get over, well, this is 6x plus 6, plus x squared minus x. And the idea here is that this is a lot better than this, as we no longer have at least these stacked fractions. A large fraction under another large fraction. Now we have a product, and what's interesting here is that there's a lot going on. First, let's clean up these two pieces. So we have 2x squared minus x squared, so we're left with a single x squared. Then we have 6x minus 6x, these two cancel and we're left with negative 5. So all of this cancels out to x squared minus 5. Well, what about this piece? Let me rewrite this part first. So this is now this simplified times x, x plus 1 over x plus 1, x plus 3, and what about this? Well, we have an x squared, 6x minus x is 5x plus 6, so this will be x squared plus 5x 
plus 6. And now we're not quite there yet for two reasons. One, well, we're going to try and factor the two quadratic polynomials as much as possible, if again possible. And there's also something else that's interesting. We have a factor of x plus 1 on top and on the bottom. And this is a complete product, and so is this. So the x plus 1 is a proper factor top and bottom. It can and should be cancelled out. So this simplifies our fraction even further. So what do we have now on top? Well, we have a single x. We'll write this first. And this is a difference of squares, thinking of 5 as the square root of 5 squared. So we can factor this a little bit more. This factors as x minus root of 5 times x plus root of 5. And again, if you're not sure, multiply out. You get x squared plus root of x mi plus, sorry, plus x root of 5 minus root of 5x, so these two cancel, and negative root of 5 root of 5, of course, is negative 5. So now we have our numerator fully factored over the denominator, so x plus 3. And now we have, again, a quadratic, not so obvious as the one on the numerator, but equally interesting because, if you notice, thinking of the sum and product trick for factoring a quadratic polynomial, that is, we look for two numbers. If we can factor, and we're about to see that we indeed can, we look for two numbers whose product is 6 and whose sum is 5. The answer to that, of course, is 2 and 3. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 plus 3 is 5, so the factors are x plus 2 and x plus 3. And if you can verify by multiplying this in your head, you get x squared plus 3x plus 2x plus 5x plus 2 times 3 plus 6. And one last step, we have a redundancy on the denominator. x plus 3 shows up twice, so we can and should regroup. This is an x plus 3 squared. So on top we're left with x, x minus root 5, x plus root 5. And on the bottom we have an x plus 2 times an x plus 3, and again we have two of those, so x plus 3 times itself, x plus 3 squared. And now we have, if we go back to the original fraction, right, we have this stacked fraction, a difference of two fractions over a sum of two fractions, and finally, as a single fraction, this is our final answer, where both the top and the bottom of our fraction are fully simplified and factored.